So this question is a pretty tough one. It's to see if you understand how we come up with crystal field theory diagrams. So it says, let's say you have a metal and it has ligands bonded at 90 degrees. So at a right angle. One of the ligands is on the x-axis and the other one is on the z-axis. So you've got two ligands, 90 degrees, one's at the x-axis, one's at the z-axis. What we want you to do is draw the CFT. So that's the question. What's the CFT diagram for this unexpected, unusual molecule? Well, what would you do? Uh, draw your energy diagram and follow the same concepts we did before when we drew the CFT for the other known shapes. So in order to do that, you need to know your d orbitals. And you follow the same concept for CFT, which is when the more interaction there is with the orbital, the higher the energy. So what does that mean? We want to see, since the ligands are coming in on the x and the z axis, the ligand, any uh, orbital on the x or z axis will be at the highest possible energy. So, the dz squared is on the z-axis, so that'll be a high energy. And equally, the dx squared minus y squared is on the x-axis, so that will be a high energy. So let me draw that out first. So those are the highest energy. And those are the ones on the axis. Now, what's next? Well, there's nothing else on the x or z axis. However, we have one that has both an x and a z component, even though it's off axis. So this will be not a direct contributor, but it will be slightly lower energy. And that's the dxz. Not on axis, but having an x and a z component. Or dzx, doesn't matter. OK, finally, what two do we have left? because there's five total orbitals, we have the dyz uh, and the dxz, both having a partial one, the middle one here, having a partial z component, this one having a partial x component, so they'll slightly contribute, but they'll be at the lowest possible energy. And there's your proposed CFT diagram uh, for this unknown, unusual molecule. Any questions? Any questions with anything here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You notice I accidentally wrote D, Z, X. Some people do that too. It doesn't totally matter. Yeah. As long as you got the two letters correct. 